Hi and welcome back to a brand new tutorial, haven't been here for a while. Uh, but before I jump into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, very important for the algorithm to kick in and get more views. I'd like to thank everyone as well, because uh, I got past 2,000 uh, subscribers, I'm now at 2,204 or something. And uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who subscribes and watches my videos. So let's jump straight into this video. I've been asked a few times, what's the difference between saving as a folder or a project? The main difference is one creates a folder, the other creates a project, which looks like the logic file itself, but has all the information in there, but you have to right click to actually see the content of the actual project. Now, what I've done here is added a few Apple loops just to create a track, it doesn't sound like much. Um, if you listen to it. So I've got, you know, quite a bit of information in there with some MIDI information and some audio, uh, something audio in there as well. Uh, doesn't matter what. Just to give me a bit of content. When I save this, I go to file, save as, right? Here, I'm gonna save it as a folder. So I've already got a folder set up here so you can see there's audio files, there's um, freeze files that's got nothing in it at the moment. So if I tick all these boxes here, this will save the audio files, the sample audio data, the alchemy audio data, ultra beat audio data, space design impulse responses, movie file, we don't need that. And it will include the Apple Sound Library content. So this means that in the folder, I'll have everything that's in the Logic session in one folder. So if I go to another computer and open up Logic, I've got everything there. I don't need to worry about the that person having the same content as me downloaded. It will all be in the actual folder itself. So let's do that, save that, replace that. Okay, now, but I now save uh, as project. So it's called this project two. So it gives us two different files. And we save that as a package, right? So the package should save underneath as a, just as a, will look actually like this file here. So let's save that. Okay, now let's go in and have a look at uh, the actual data itself. As you can see here, I've saved it as a folder and as a project. So if we look at project, it looks the same as a session file. And here um, we have the samples, guitar, we have the audio files from loops. Uh, we have the sample instruments here. Uh, freeze files, we haven't got any because we didn't use any. So here you say, oh, okay. But it's exactly the same thing. What we've got to do is show package contents. Then you've got media, then you've got audio files, here, you've got sample instruments and you've got samples. So, and you've got the alternatives as well. So basically, um, it's just a different way of saving. Uh, some people prefer that, some people prefer the folder itself. Me personally, um, I save it as a folder because then it saves me right clicking on that to look. I just open this up and then I've got everything there. So, there you have it. You have folder here and project here. So yeah, there you have it. And uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.